It has now been nearly a century since Theodore Roosevelt first called for health care reform. And ever since, nearly every president and Congress, whether Democrat or Republican, has attempted to meet this challenge in some way. A national health plan was first proposed by Theodore Roosevelt in 1912. No country could be strong with sick and poor people, he said. Franklin Roosevelt was next to try. He hoped to include national health insurance in his 1935 plan for Social Security. After FDR was forced to drop it by a powerful medical lobby, Harry Truman was the next president to take up the cause, but his plan for universal coverage was killed by opposition scare tactics. No piece of unfinished business is more important or more urgent than the enactment under the Social Security system of health insurance for the aged. President Kennedy pushed to include health care under Social Security, and Lyndon Johnson continued the effort, successfully creating Medicare in 1965. Medicare changed everything. It proved the government could deliver real reform to help those in need. To bring further necessary reform, Senator Edward Kennedy took up the cause, relentlessly pursuing it, conducting field hearings all across America. We're going to be interested in, in listening to uh, people that uh, have been uh, affected by the system, have been uh, dealing with the health system, have been paying its bills, or otherwise have been ignored by the health system. We want to let the uh, people in. In 1969, uh, Senator Kennedy really gave his first challenge and appeal to the American people about the need to guarantee health care for all the citizens of America as a matter of right. And he was tireless throughout all the years since in being the leader in that fight. We cannot have a fair prosperity and isolation from a fair society. So I will continue to stand for a national health insurance. He inspired us all. I remember him saying at one point, this is really the next civil rights battle. It's a question of whether or not we can continue to have a two-tiered system, a system for the wealthy and a system for the rest. Let us resolve that the state of a family's health shall never depend on the size of a family's wealth. Well, Ted Kennedy uh, was uh, adamant always that people's opportunities in life should not be defined by the money they were born with or the status that they were born with. That people had to have uh, equal opportunity. At the center of almost all his work was the health care issue. And almost any subject matter he was involved in, it was never far from his thought process in terms of how this legislation would impact the quality of health for all Americans. As long as I have a voice in the United States Senate, it's going to be for that democratic platform plank that provides decent quality of health care He was committed from morning, noon, and night to doing whatever it takes to be able to make sure that every American has access to the health care they need for themselves and their families. In the greatest country in the world, shame on us that health care is something that families struggle with. Health care costs are rising five times faster than wages in the country. Three and a half million jobs could be lost, foreclosures on homes, bankruptcies. Last year, 750,000 people filed for bankruptcy. More than half of those bankruptcy filings were as a result of health care costs. The present system is unaffordable, unacceptable, and unsustainable. The American people want health care reform. After all these years, going back to Theodore Roosevelt, enough is enough. Many of those who came before us have tried to achieve what we're on the cusp of doing, and that is achieving the kind of national health coverage uh, that Americans have been long waiting for. This bill is a good deal for America. Reduces the deficit, will cover 98 percent of the people in this country, it will crack down and stop a lot of health insurance industry abuses, and it will, for the first time, provide enormous support for prevention and wellness to change the paradigm 
away from a sick care system to a true health care system in America. I think a lot of what's motivating us to get this bill, of course, number one, is to help people who need the help and reform our system so that we'll have a good health care system in years to come. But Ted is up there looking down and smiling and saying, you can get this done. And I think that motivates every single one of us. We are going to build on the work, the tenacity, the passion, the commitment, and his challenge to us to never give up. Never give up till you get it done. And when we're done, we're going to be able to look every American in the eye and say, yes, health care in America is your right, not a privilege. This is the cause of my life, new hope that we will break the old gridlock and guarantee that every American, North, South, East, West, Young, Old, will have decent, quality health care as a fundamental right and not a privilege.